Okay, so it's car booty time, yeah? You saw the computers at the flea market yesterday. If you watched that video, if not, why not get back there and watch it, yeah? We'll look at two of those computers and let's see if we can make our money back. But remember, we have six for 120 euros, so we have a fair chance. Let's see how it goes. Whatever you don't see on this video, well, there'll be on the next ones or two. So, okay, let's go. And you can see, I found some nice computers. This is one of them. No real need to guess what's inside this because there's a badge on the front. And I'm not sure how clearly you can see that, but it says Intel inside Pentium 3. Pentium 3 is a quite nice machine, to be honest. I think every retro gamer or collector of retro hardware and PCs should have at least one in this collection. We can have a look at the back, so couple of USBs on this, modem card, LAN card, graphics card. This may well be an AGP machine, it could just be a PCI, it's probably AGP. Let's see what we've got here. And we have one of those cases where the top comes off in one piece. And a nice slot one. <laughs> ATI graphics card, AGP, as I thought it probably was. Oh, and it has an ISA slot. That's nice. ISA is always nicer. Okay, I'm not sure whose motherboard this is. It's a super something or other down there. Super P6SBA, okay. Hard drivers with this one, so if it's working, it may have an operating system on. Let's get the motherboard out of this case. The case itself is not in very good condition, particularly. It's not by any means the worst I've seen. And then let's have a good look at what we've got. So we have the motherboard. Not totally sure who the manufacturer is of this one, but it has a model basically, okay. Pentium 3 processor in there. What speed is this one? 450? One AGP, four PCI, three ISA slots. The capacitors are all looking good. Ah, there's a strip of PC100 in there. This, I think, would make a really nice basis for a Windows 95 or 98 plus DOS retro gaming PC. We have a hard drive that says Yolanda on it for some reason. Okay. MPC3032. Is that a Three, two or three gigabytes, something, I'm guessing. Uh, or is it something a little bit bigger than that? We can have a look at the number and we can find out. One crazy looking ISA modem card. Look at these chips on this. They're huge. Uh, I doubt these things have any value, just of interest, really. Yeah, uh, we can have a look. It's a has model number on maybe yeah it has a model number bdp 10919 revision 5 okay ati 3d rage these are not particularly worth any money really it's of the age though i guess from when this machine was new 1998 okay so we're looking at a PC that is maybe 25, 26 years old here. The other thing is the LAN card, and this was filthy by the way, go and wash my hands in a minute, uh, but that's really not worth anything. I think we'll just try and power this up and let's see what it does. Let's see if it shows 
any signs of life okay we are ready to try so power on does it start oh it started without me doing anything CMOS battery will be flat bleeping probably because there's no graphics card in there because it's still trying to boot by the looks of it okay it could be a RAM error that particular bleep as well there's no VGA on this I'm just looking on the back of it there's no VGA obviously I have the graphics card take the RAM out and let's see if we get the same bleep okay so start no that's different okay so we'll put us back in again it's a little bit sticky that slot boot it up get a different code right take it out again back in once more okay goes past that one I'm thinking maybe that is the graphics card let's see I'll fit the one that came with it for now so that can go in there just put a little spacer under there so it doesn't fall back out again okay let's try again hmm no picture same code oh oh it's doing something else still no picture it likes to bleep this thing that's for sure I'll give the sockets a bit of a clean the AGP and the RAM slot and then let's see if that makes any difference I mean that's probably the most common problem I find with these old machines particularly the RAM slots okay try it again well it's not bleeping a lot like it was before oh the blue lights on the monitor yeah it's working super checking MV RAM check wait okay that looks like it's booting up quite nicely this is a 440 BX motherboard it says there okay rather nice actually and the model number we can see right let's see if this will boot from the hard drive okay hard drive attached keyboard mouse oh that drive doesn't sound very healthy at all you hear it yeah that sounds poorly okay i went to run setup hey a long time since i've seen this bios notice you kind of like does that jiggly thing then stops okay that could be my monitor actually reacting to the resolution this is running at well it doesn't seem to yeah i mean that hard drive was making some nasty noises and it didn't see it okay it's a set to master so it's not going to boot from that i don't think we can try something a little bit drastic so we can switch it off uh, just give it a bit of a friendly thump okay i mean nothing to lose really with this okay on again actually sounds better now again we have a picture 
Uh, let's just try and continue with the default values. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it's looking for a floppy, so we're still not seeing that hard drive by the loops of it. No Itala lights, now working. So, a friendly thump, basically, got this one to run. Windows 98. Sounds just fine now, the drive does actually. Maybe the motor was stuck, it was just kind of like jammed or something. It's not been rotating for a very long time, probably. Ah, found the monitor. Next. I was a bit... Uh, this mouse, actually, this mouse is not very good, by the way. It's not the... Next, in Spanish. Next. Next. Okay, monitor.inf. Next. Finish. End. Okay, so it wants the disk ms ports dot cart. Probably won't find anything because there's no disk. I'd like to cancel that. Seems happy enough. I'm not really that bothered when it thinks it is. Eh. There we are. Oh, it's trying to connect to a G drive or something. Fair enough. I don't have it, whatever it is. Norton Antivirus 2004. So you can sort of see when this thing was last in use. Yeah. Access to BT. Okay. And there we have it. Working Windows 98 PC. Encrypted in Spanish. Government of the Canaries, that's the bottom uh, one, okay, the Government of the Canary Islands. <laughs> okay, so it hasn't gone very far from where it was originally used. Egypt, that's like your equivalent of VAT here, but it's only 7%, and it only applies for things that you buy and sell on the island to other people or businesses on the island. It doesn't apply to anything from like mainland Europe or anywhere else that's VAT free and Egypt free okay so a rather nice I think working Pentium 3 is it worth anything yeah is it worth anything eBay tells me somebody has one for sale at 527 pounds that's a lot more than I would have expected because somebody also has one for sale for 107 which is much more like the price I thought it would be and that's just coming soon oh picture coming soon so they've got no picture of it no image which doesn't help when you try and sell something why can't you put a picture on uh, he says it's for Pentium 2 but it's Pentium 3 anyway we have one for sale uh, without a picture or you can uh, pay five times as much and have a picture yeah does he think this thing is mega rare or something oh they have five available of them yeah they have five of them available super micro computer ink there you go comes with a two-year warranty fair enough i guess that would cost you more that's what we have Oh, this is in Newcastle, uh, underline. This is very close to my old home in the UK, actually. Let's see if anybody's bought any of these. So they're either worth 108 or 526. Does anybody buy these? Yeah, somebody bought one in July for 83 pounds nearly. Paid postage from the States, which is another 25. And if they bought that in the UK, they would pay VAT 20% on top of that as well. So 
it's going to come in about 120 to 130. I would imagine by the time you get it. But somebody else bought one in the UK for 40 pounds, pre-owned. So what's it worth? Is it worth 40? Is it worth 82? Is it worth 109? <laughs> yeah. I think it's probably worth something like that. Just because one was for sale at this price and somebody bought it and buy it now doesn't mean that somebody else who wants one isn't going to pay this. And that's the evidence. So, yeah, I think 80, 80 to 100. Yeah, what do you think, guys? Which price would you believe? Yeah. Of course, the price will be what somebody's willing to pay, but that's what somebody was willing to pay. Yeah. We'll stay in the sold, completed listings. Or we could have a graphics card. So this is the Rage. Rage 2, I think. Rage 2C. Uh, it says Rage IIC. Looks like a Roman 2. Uh, eight, let's put ATI Rage and let's see what comes up. It has a part number there. Okay. I'll put AGP as well. Well, if it's that one, seven pounds, ten pounds, it's not that thing. Okay, that is worth quite a lot of money. Look, AGP, yeah, Radeon ninety eight hundred. So about ten pounds, I think. This modem, I don't think is worth anything to be quite honest. Well, nothing comes up in the sold listings anyway, so I think we can say that's interesting, but not of any value. So, all in all, I think, nice, we'll call it £100, graphics card can go with it. And um, the hard drive, I don't know how long that will last for, but it is working, so maybe we can say it is good. I did say we'd check what capacity this was, should have done when it was booted up, but uh, we can have a look anyway. Well, somebody sold one for £18, yeah, another one for £14, that was a different model. That's a different model. I'll bet this is a 3.2 gig, you know, actually. Yeah, it says 3.2 gig. So this is a 3.2 gig hard drive. Not really saleable, I don't think, because I had to thump it before it worked. Okay, let's look at something else. Okay, and here it is. Again, you saw me buying this at the flea market. I paid 100 euros for the five machines. That's 20 euros each. In fact, if you watch closely, I actually paid 90 euros because I didn't have 100. And I basically said, I owe you 10 euros. And he said, yeah, next week. So I will pay him, of course. So this is again like from the end of the 90s, you would say. Creative CD, read writer. This kind of like mixed color. So we're getting cases like this around the end of the 90s before they went kind of black and silver and then black really and then anything goes, yeah. So here it is, we have two USBs on board, four more USBs. This bracket may actually be something that came with the motherboard rather than an add-on card, we will see no doubt. LAN card, probably an AGP graphics I would say. Just some empty slots here, so obviously the game controller and the sound card are not on. This motherboard, it's possible this backing plate didn't really match it in the first place, or it's been changed, yeah? Let's have a look inside, but I'd imagine this probably is another, well, it could be anything from Pentium 2 to Pentium 4, really. I'll stick my looks in. I'm going to say another Pentium 3. Let's be bold, yeah? Let's see what we've got. Okay, what are you? Well, it's not a Pentium 4. This is an AMD machine. I can just see the brown substrate on the CPU down here. So this is a uh, Athlon with ISA. So that's another result. The ones with ISA makes a big difference. So normal Athlon retro motherboard without the ISA slots, 40 pounds, put the ISA slots on, 100, yeah, something like that. AGP graphics card, hard drive again, so it's a complete machine. So let's get this one apart and let's see what we have now. 
So, motherboard capacitors look nice. This is a Gigabyte motherboard. GA7IXC4. I'm sure I've had this motherboard before, and I think it was worth about 140 based on sold ones. It's in nice condition, no corrosion really, just looks good. Okay. It says Abrisia or something on this one. Or even Abraham, <laughs> yeah. It had a removable caddy which has another hard drive in. I never found these removable caddies to be very reliable. This is a 10 gig hard drive. And this is a 40 gig. Okay. I don't normally bother these days with the beige CD-ROMs and writers because I have quite a lot of them tested and working. But if I see branded ones like Creative or Plex Store then I do get them because they have a kind of following on their own. Yeah, worth a bit more than the more generic brands. The USB ports are actually on a separate card. I might just keep hold of that actually for my own use of my machines. This Atrox make, okay. The graphics card, well, it has a cooling fan on. This is a FX5200 DDR. This is a common graphics card not really worth anything okay so the value of this one if we're lucky is in the motherboard if it works and really there's only one way to find out guys so camera on power supply on does it start no doesn't do anything okay well the power supply was definitely on Oh, I think the power switch may not be in the right place. It's a bit hard to say. Yeah, I do have a manual. I can see the jumper settings there. I had it wrong. I think the actual layout on it is a little bit off, but that's how it actually goes. It makes sense when you look at the manual, and then it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense by itself, I don't think, not easily. Okay, so power switch attached. Speaker attached, power it up, does it start? Yes. And it looks like it's going to boot. Fan makes a bit of a noise. Yeah, it is the fan. No bleeps coming out of it. Stops at that code. Let's put a graphics card in and let's in fact put the graphics card in that came with it let's see if we have a picture i'm not totally sure we will when it stops on that code but hey who knows let's go again put the monitor onto vga just in case oh bleep bleep that sounds promising but there's no picture. Okay, no blue light, no picture. It sounded like it had booted up. Let's try another graphics card. Or, or on second thoughts, let's just try to reseat this one a few times. I'm just waggling it in and out of the slot a few times. If this doesn't work, I can try some isopropyl alcohol. The same with the RAM slots, okay, let's go again. That's the graphics card test. Oh, well, I have a picture this time. Yeah. Athlon 1313 or something it said. It's now gone to zero, zero on the codes and it's looking for the hard drive. Okay, we better connect it up and see what happens. Let's see. On, start. Ah. Picture. Mm-hmm. It's 
Starting our cronies loader, whatever that is, startup recovery. Huh? Well, it doesn't seem to go any further than that. I'll restart it and try getting to the BIOS. Seems to be detecting the hard drive just fine, 40 gig. Let's load the uh, BIOS defaults. Okay. Save and exit. Yeah, okay. Let's see if it will boot from it now. So it reads a boot record. Oh, start Windows normally. Let's see what happens. No, it's going to go. Yeah, and then it seems to crash. So most likely the hard drive corrupted or just a lot of stuff's been deleted from there. Doesn't want to boot. But I'm confident enough that the motherboard's working just fine. Let's see if we have another one of a reasonable value. I'm just in the normal for sale listings again now. So GA-7 IXE4. What are you worth? Yeah, what I thought it was worth. Okay, one for sale at 104, one was at 102, one for 149. Somebody thinks that one's worth 250. 92, that's the cheapest one I can see. 189. 57 plus 25 postage from Kazakhstan. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Well, there you go. 68 with a Duron chip from Kazakhstan. 136. Let's look at the sold listings. There's quite a few of these boards about, obviously. They're not rare. Are they sought after? This is the question. Yeah, one sold there with a graphics card and processor. Kind of a job lot. At 115. Okay, it was reduced. This one went into auction only fetch 37. And there aren't any more, okay? So that sold 12th of June, and this one sold 26th of June. I'm not sure what graphics card was with that one. Is it V3800? Not sure. Let me see. Doesn't really tell as much because it's an old listing, but there you go. Well, I'm going to say that, and I know this without a doubt, putting things on at a fixed price, you get more money and put them into auction with this sort of thing. So I think £100 is a very, very good estimate of what that's worth. The graphics card, FX5200, uh, 21, AGP. Mine has the cooling fan on, it's slightly different to these. See, 5900 fetched 89. Uh, oh, that's a 6200. In fact, those are both 6200s. In fact, yeah, the only one that is is this one. That is a 5200 AGP. As is that one, okay. Well, I think £20, maybe. If it depends a little bit on the brand. Well, that's the one I have. Okay, it's that one. So I think it's a reasonable assumption. We have £120 there, basically. I didn't bother to look up the processor. But as a bundle, I think probably something like that. The other one, 100 So I paid 100 for the whole lot. We've looked at two out of the five machines, and I think we have €220. Euros. And in fact, actually pounds, which is worth about 10% more. Maybe more, actually, but the exchange rate at the moment. So I think we have a good return so far. I hope you'll agree with me on that.
Okay, that's enough for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon on All In Electronics Repair. Ciao for now, guys.